Okay, this video, let's look at how to add up area of faces, and we're going to do this based on material. So I want to count how many square feet of this material there is in the model. I know we can do that with built-in methods in SketchUp by clicking on that, for example, but that's no fun. We want to do this in Ruby. Plus, we need to know how to do it in Ruby for future so we can build it into future scripts, things like that. Um, Okay, so here's the basics. I have access to the model, the entities, and the selection. The way I want this to work is that I select a face, click Execute, and it should tell me how many square feet of that material there are in the model. Now this won't drill down into groups or components. This will just be the loose geometry, and that's okay for what we need it for right now. Okay, so we're going to need to keep track of... Let's see. Oh yeah, the the um here we go, the material. Okay, so our material is okay, so we want to use the selected item. So the selection set, the first object in the selection set is the selection zero dot material. Okay, so now we know what the material is that we're trying to look at. We'll keep an um a variable with our uh, with our area growing. Okay, so let's go over all the entities in the model. So ants dot each do e. I think what we're going to do is if e dot is a SketchUp face, we want to continue. If we get if as long if we if if the object is a face, we'll continue. And if e dot material compares equal to the selected material. We'll continue. So now we just take area, which currently is zero, and we're going to say that it equals itself plus the new area, which is E dot area. This returns the area of a face. So let's end these if statements and our loop and then we can do okay so let's return that value so that's area and it's in currently in inches and we want to show that as square feet so we, we divide by 144 click execute and there we have it it shows 5.0 as our square feet so if we select this one it should show us 10 there we go, and this one would show us one, or uh, two, my mistake, there's two boxes. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, a little bit more, let's see, a little bit more advanced. I think I've got time to show this. This is the same idea, but what I have here is I'm keeping track of all the materials in the model in a materials array. I have an area array, and then this index I use later Okay, so we go all we iterate over all the entities in the model, and if we have a SketchUp face, we continue. So we look at the the materials array. If it doesn't already include the material, we're going to add the material into the array. Now, index. This is we need to get the position of that of the material, of the current material from the materials array. So that that gives us the position. So, so what that does is down here, we're going to look at the area array, specifically at the same index as the material we're looking at. So if we're looking at the material that's in position 2, we want to look at the area that's in position 2 of the area array. If it doesn't exist, we're going to say at 0. Then down here, we do area array, same place. We're going to look at area array position 2, for example, and we want to do the same thing. Add, take its value, and add the current face's area to it. So what this does is it keeps a running tally for every material. It has a parallel array of the areas for that material. So down here, we're just going to iterate over the area array. Um, yeah, the area array. And we're going to put the value. So if we hit execute on this, Let's see if I can bring this over. Click Execute, and there we go. It outputs all the values for us, and we could even have it give the names of the materials.